Hello everyone, Outdoors and Botanical here, and today I am going to be unboxing some Venus flytraps. So, I got these from a local Sobeys. They have them every year in the spring. I got some last year, they died. But now, I've been able to keep one for a whole year, so I decided I would get a few more. I got these about a week ago. Um, I just put them back in the container to show you how they came. They have grown quite a bit. They got a couple more traps, but I noticed the there's some black leaves down here, so I thought like I needed to plant it because I have a feeling they watered it with tap water, and you got to use distilled water. So I flushed it out with distilled water, but I still think they need to be replanted, and I think it's a good idea to do anyways. So I got two small pots, two big pots. Um, I'm going to try to divide them a little bit. Well, uh, it depends how many plants are in there. It looks like this one I'm probably going to leave how it is. Uh, this one has a lot of plants and some of them are just dying. Like that one got drowned out. So, I'm just going to do whatever. So yeah, anyways, it's enough talking. Let's get started. So I'm just going to, I got a peat perlite mixture. I just, uh, I don't really measure, I do it by eye, so that looks like enough perlite to me, so that's what I do. So... Usually you pack down as hard as you would push on your eyeball. So you push on your eye. If it hurts, it's too hard to pack down. So that's kind of the rule of thumb I do. It goes with any plants, even seeds. So yeah, always have some paper towel in the background so you can clean your hands up before you handle the plants. Now, a lot of people say don't trip the traps when uh, you plant them. That's really inevitable. Um, you like, it's pretty hard not to, so, yeah. If you trip all of them, then it might harm the plant. It'll just slow down its growth, unless it, it's in really poor conditions. I find them pretty hard to get out of these pots. But... It's probably not going to kill the plant. Those are some nice healthy roots. They have black roots if you didn't know. And then they have white tips. So this is all new growth. Uh, they packed this down pretty hard so it didn't come out. But that's okay. So I'm just going to remove a little bit of what's there just because I feel like they did wash it with tap water or well, not wash it sorry they uh, watered it so I'm just uh, carefully pulling away some of the sphagnum You want to be very gentle, the roots are very, very, very delicate. Broke a few off there. They're very sensitive. Like the roots. So, yeah. So actually, yeah. There are some decent sized plants here. As you can see, there's two main plants. And I'm just going to, see they weren't even attached, so I'm just going to divide them. Make sure you do have roots on both. If there's no roots, they most likely won't do well. So they, they both have a good root system, so they're okay to divide. Now this one has a little tiny plant on the side there. You can divide that. I'm not going to. It's not, like, important to do. So, yeah. Well, you know what? Yeah, I'm, it's going to fall off, so... Just going to take it. 
these ones don't really do well with dividing, but it kind of fell off. So we'll see how that does, but yeah. Other than that, this plant's looking pretty good, and we're ready to plant it. So I'm just going to pull off the dead leaves very carefully. There's actually two rhizomes here, but when they're that close together and they're not really coming apart, like they don't fall apart, that's when you want to leave them. If they fall off, then that means you're good to divide. So yeah, I'm just going to make a big hole here. And I'm going to take this leaf off. We can save that, we'll do leaf cuttings. Just taking off the ones that are kind of falling here. We'll do some leaf cuttings with those. So anyways, plant that. You want to cover all the white. I'm just going to use, um, actually, I was going to use the sphagnum it came with, but I don't think I'm going to anymore. So you're just going to cover that. Don't cover the growth points, otherwise it will not grow. So you just want to bury it in there. Just like that. It might even be able to go down a little bit more, like on this side, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. It should do fine. So I'm just going to leave it like that now, and I'm going to pot them all up and get back to you. Alright, so I ended up with eight little plants. I have four really small ones and four pretty decent sized ones. So this one here has a flower bud coming up and that's not good especially after you transplant them if you have a very established plant then it'll just slow down its growth for a year or two it won't kill it but it's not really worth it because like I have plants already so I don't need seeds so I'm just gonna cut it off just like that so that's what you want to do when you get a flower spike I doubt any more will get that just because I just planted it. If I left them in those containers, they, both of them would. So, anyways, I ended up with about a handful of leaf cuttings, which I, which will be for another video. But for now, that's that's what I have. So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And as always, stay outdoors, stay botanical, keep your hobbies, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.